Descartes considers the times when all our senses are in fact deceived in their entirety as he now considers his dreams. Hmm, interesting. Descartes explains he may feel that at the moment he is sitting in his chair by the fire with his papers on his lap, but in fact he has dreamt this scenario before. He has had vivid dreams of being in this exact same situation and everything that he was perceiving was nothing more than a mental projection. There was no physical chair or fire, even the body he believed he had was not real. The movement of his arms and legs and everything was nothing more than an illusion. Would you not agree that many people can find themselves in this state? Yes, I would agree we can have dreams that are indistinguishable from reality. Exactly. So if our senses can put us in this state, then why should you not believe that right now you are dreaming? That everything you are doing is a dream, that you are in fact being deceived at every conscious moment of your life. How could you ever know? If you have been in a state where all your senses were deceiving you, then what is to say you are not always in a state where all your senses are deceiving you? It is because of this that Descartes must doubt everything imaginable, including the knowledge our senses have produced. As Descartes says, everything I have accepted up to now as being absolutely true and assured, I have learned through or from the senses. Okay, I understand where Descartes is coming from, but would you not agree that if we are dreaming of specific objects, then surely this projection must come from a greater reality? that the images we see is coming off of something real. Very good point and indeed Descartes addresses this. He does think to himself that surely some part of this dream life must be real and not all of it can be a grand illusion. We may be surrounded by illusionary dream objects in this dream world but if we consider the shape of these objects or the quantity or the size these types of properties must be real. I may be holding a yellow box this yellow box might not exist and just be an illusion in my dream world, but the property of squareness, the quantity of one, these things must be real. It was here that Descartes saw a distinction between composite things and simple things. Composite things being physics, astronomy, medicine, which he called dubious and those we should doubt, and simple things being arithmetic, geometry. These contain some measure of certainty. As Descartes says, for whether I am awake or sleeping, two and three added together always make five, and a square never has more than four sides. Okay, fine, we agree. Not everything, in fact, needs to be thrown into doubt. Well, not exactly, because Descartes carried on the meditation, and this is where it led him into an even darker place. At this moment in time, Descartes...